Hello, welcome to Sober and Intuitive Carol. My name is Cindy. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to do a mini and it's a good thing we're going to do a mini because Atlas has decided it's time to play ball <laughs> and he's not being very patient. So if you hear some whimpering and barking, he's just trying to let me know that, you know, this isn't what he wants to be doing right now or what he wants me to be doing right now might be a better way to say it. Alrighty, so... Uh, Nikki Haley has been, you know, kind of <clears throat> poking at Trump. Um, one wonders, you know, how crazy she's making him. Um, I think a clear indicator was when he basically said, you know, if, if you're supporting Nikki, you'll never be part of MAGA again. Yeah, uh, Putty, <laughs> you know, she's not likely to win the... Um, the nomination. So that being the case, those are the people that you're probably going to want to vote for you, but that's okay. We know that this is not a guy who thinks about long-term plans or consequences. All he thinks about is this moment and how I feel in this moment. Now, interesting, he has actually not uttered the words E. Jean Carroll since he was told that he had to pay 83 points three million dollars because they can't keep his mouth shut okay i'm rambling um i want to take a look at haley today that's what i'm going to do we're going to look at nikki haley and see what kind of an impact she's having on the overall race um her um um fundraising is going quite well and i think the more belligerent trump gets the Better it goes for her. So let's see what we can find in, shall we? Um. Nikki Haley campaign, Trump impact. Nikki Haley campaign, Trump impact. Nikki Haley campaign, Trump impact. Find out. All right. She is starting with the sun. So this is where she's at. She feels that she is on the high ground and she's not wrong um this is an energy about being ready now to start exposing things that she wasn't ready to talk about in the primary or you know when well when there's all those other people running in a ring this is this is about her I don't know that she has any sort of illusions about about winning, but what she's about is making sure that as many people as possible who vote for Trump at least hear a little bit of what she has to say. And the more she does that, the better her finances are. Um, you know, he makes threats and her, her fundraising goes up. So there is there is that. Um, she does not want to be his vice president. She does not want to be in his cabinet. Uh, she does not want anything to do with him. He is I'm trying to think of the word. Like when she thinks of him, she, it's like yucky, right? She doesn't like the energy around him. She doesn't like the way he talks, the way he behaves. She put up with it when she was ambassador for the UN because that was a really big feather in her cap. But you know, Trump sitting at the bottom of this thing. So, you know, there's like, he's, he is my, you know, King of Pentacles is my Trump card. In some ways, 
he's that sort of, you know, and I, I, I say this often, that one trick pony, right? So because he doesn't know what else to do, he's going to start um, behaviors that worked for him in 2016. All right. So he's trying to figure out how to reverse time, right? That's his thing, right? He's completely focused on how do I make everything that's going on around me that I don't like, how do I make it vanish? All right. So that's his motivation. So she is able to even, you know, hit him up with things like, he doesn't care about you. He's too busy in court and 91, you know, indictments. And really, you want to vote for somebody with 91 indictments? So she's making her headway. I think a lot of people thought that she should have been more open, um, you know, when, when all of the other nominees were sort of getting eliminated. Well, I don't know that I like that. She strategically was, you know, kind of more interested in getting as far up the ladder, I guess, as she could, because that was when she knew her, um, the stuff she has, the stuff she knows, um, is going to have the biggest impact. Her platform is strong. Um, now, do I think she's going to win against Biden? No, I don't. Do I even think she's going to win against Trump? No, I don't. Not at this point. But her message is strong and people are starting to hear it. In part, of course, because she's another Republican. I mean, he can call her a rhino. He can call her whatever he wants. But the reality is she's a Republican. Um, and so her word, um, I think, penetrates a little bit more, particularly with um, you know, Republicans who are really just sick and tired of Trump, but like his policies, um, and people, uh, you know, who have sort of labeled themselves independent, you know, we like to think in our, in our heads that, oh, well, if you're independent, that means that you're, you know, you're going to vote, you're, you're democratic. That's not what it means. It means that they're, they've decided to not commit to a particular party. Um, and those are the people that will flip back and forth. So you can't count on them to be consistently one thing. Um, as he continues, he is going to continue his antics, his behavior is going to continue to um, it, it, not go well. Okay. That sort of bullying behavior, that in your face behavior, that kind of stuff is not going to sit well. He is not going to debate Nikki Haley. I very much doubt he's going to debate Joe Biden uh, because, you know, Joe told him to be quiet last time. Um, but what you're going to see, you know, rallies, news clips, his stupid ex, uh, social truth account, whatever that's called. Um, right? You're going to hear it. Now, Mickey, <laughs> Queen of Swords, and the Empress, she ain't done yet. She's just not done yet. Um, for her, the fantasy, the fantasy is, is beating him. But she's highly, highly motivated to stay in as long as she can to continue pushing out the message that he is not a solid choice. That's what she's about. That's where her focus is. Um, and she's, listen, she's going to hang on there as long as she can. She's got the Queen of Swords. She's got the Empress and she's got the Four of Pentacles, all right? She's not going to go anywhere until she has nowhere to go. And see, the thing is, is people get caught up talking about, oh, you know, the primary here and the primary there. It, those results are obviously important. But her focus is not on the primaries right now as much as it is on talking about Trump and getting that message out. And so it's not it's not about what number she gets. It, I think what's a Carolina's next. And that's her hometown apparently or her home state. And it, she's not leading in the polls. Not the point. The point she's getting at, what she's trying to do, 
is keep talking about them over and over and over again. And these clips keep getting shown um, because she's finally being forceful and saying what everybody was waiting for her to say. So that's what's going on kind of um, energetically in, in that mix up, right? She's, she's, she's realistic to know that she's really not likely to, to win, but that isn't the point. Her point is she wants people to take off their blinders. She wants people to see. She wants people to recognize, you know, his behaviors, um, particularly around, um, you know, the United States and, and documents and January 6th, all right? And she's not gonna. She's not gonna back down. She's gonna keep on. So you know, I don't know that anybody needs to run out and support Nikki Haley, but I think that at right now she is doing exactly what she set out to do. And as near as I can figure out, she's doing a pretty dang good job of it. All right, I'm gonna go play ball with my dog. Take good care now. Bye bye. Be well.